Hi, my name is Clara Valko and I will demonstrate to you uh, how to start up an Agilent HPSC and CampStation instrument, which is located in my laboratory at Biomimetic Chromatography Limited in uh, Stevenage in the United Kingdom. So this is an Agilent HPSC instrument. HPSC stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography, which is a separation method where we can separate mixtures, components in a mixture uh, using a chromatographic system which contains a, sta a stationary phase and a mobile phase. So we have to have the mobile phase. Here you can see the mobile phase reservoirs. I have two mobile phases because I will uh, start to set up my instrument um, using reverse phase chromatography. So I have an aqueous mobile phase and a citonitrile organic mobile phase. And the mobile phase will be sucked by a pump. Here is the uh, uh, module for the uh, degassing module. This is the pump. Uh, uh, we need an auto sampler uh, which injects the compounds to the chromatographic column. I will show you this is the column compartment and the detector. So now how you start up the HPSC? First, let's uh, switch on all the modules. This is the degasser. You can hear the vacuum already start working and uh, removing all the dissolved gases from the mobile faces. So is all uh, set up. This is my detector. And then I need to fire up the online CAMStation software which will control the HPSC. It's always advisable first to have um, switched on all the modules in the HPSC system and then uh, you start the computer, the software, because now the software will recognize uh, this instrument part. And basically this is where I will um, uh, control by this the HPSC. So let's see, now you can see my um, auto sampler module. The robot is adjusting itself. Here are my samples and here are, here is my column, the heart of this whole instrumentation, HPSC instrumentation. I remove now to show you how to connect uh, a column why the software is firing up. So this is the heart of the HPSC where the separation will take place. This is a reverse phase column, is a Gemini a small column where I usually run a fast gradient analysis from 0 to 100 percent acetonite mobile phase and uh, analyze the lipophilicity of the compounds. So you always have to check now, first of all, you open this valve and ensure that you already uh, filled up your tubing from the butters up to the pump. So let's start up the pump and the uh, instrument. Here is a little on button. I will show you in another video closer the camp station. So now I switching on the instrument, the pump, and um, to ensure that all my tubing um, is filled up with the actual solvent. So I need to have, um, this is the uh, instrument and the pump we have to set up. And now what I will do, I will pump 50-50% from both mobile phases through up to here. So the column is not connected, it is in my hand. So I set up instrument, set up pump. Here you tell the flow rate and um, pump B, 
solvent is 50% and the C solvent is 50%. It is also advisable at this stage to tell the computer and the software that which uh, line you will uh, use and how much solvent it is in those bottles. So I put here solvent butter filling and the, I use one liter uh, bottles, that is the maximum which can be there, you have to say, and the mobile face to see the aqueous buffer is around 0.8 0.8 and uh, acetonitrile I have got 0.65 a liter 0.65 and then you take this uh, little uh, squares to prevent analysis when the uh, bottle filling is less than 0.1 liter and turn off the pump and the HPSC so it will not pump air through the system. So now you can see it's all green and is pumping and uh, the two uh, phases at the moment this is a quaternary low pressure gradient pump so I can use three different solvents and program during the analysis. That's why I usually uh, uh, put mobile phase A is the low pH, this is a, a pH 7.4 buffer, is C and the D is the high pH buffer and the, my B uh, line is the acetonite. So now while it is purging you can increase the flow rate for this stage to purge to get quicker uh, get rid of the air quicker. So while this is purging, I will uh, in, uh, introduce or connect the column and explain to you the, the column. First, I have to check, you see, that the, the line has no air bubbles or other solvent in it before I connect the column. I usually wash all the lines um, with isopropanol to avoid uh, formation of algae or, or bacterial infection of my mobile face because it can block all this uh, plastic tubing and uh, the filters which are built in and it gets uh, high pressure so it is advisable when we don't use the HPSC to fill up and wash all the lines, especially the aqueous mobile after aqueous mobile phase with isopropanol. So I don't want this isopropanol to go into my column. So I check first that the final mobile phase at the moment is 50% C and B is coming through here. I hope you can see is now uh, dripping, so no air. And uh, it, I didn't have isopropanol, but if I had isopropanol, I would wait until it all goes through the system and I reach the boba face what I want to reach. So now I can open the web again <coughs> and connect with this hand tightened uh, tubing to the column, you always check the mobile face flow rate where how the column was uh, packed, so use the same direction of the flow. And you can check here also um, um, the pressure drop. If you open this valve, it shouldn't be any pressure. Yes, is one bar, is okay. And now, I connect the end of the column, which goes to the, these are very narrow uh, uh, bore peak tubing, which goes to the detector. And this should be very small volume to avoid a big uh, void volume. And then I fix this column here in the thermostat thermostated compartment. And um, 
Before I close it uh, completely, I uh, close the valve. Now the pressure should go up. Yes, it's nicely nice, 25, 27 bar. It will go up a bit higher because the column was in acetonite, right? Because you end of the analysis, I wash the column with 100% acetonite. And you check whether the pressure went up and no leakage in here, although the instrument is full of leak detectors, wherever if somewhere some uh, liquid uh, uh, solvent leakage occurs, it immediately switches off the machine uh, because we don't want to destroy this expensive instrument, the electronics, with these uh, liquids, buffers and organic solvents in, on it. So now it seems okay, so I close this compartment to ensure that it will keep the, the adjusted temperature. These uh, little uh, devices for, for uh, uh, seal wash, not every instrument, but uh, uh, my one, it has a seal wash, which washes the piston seals of the pump in the back. Uh, so I put it on because it's always advisable, because might be some buffer crystals crystallize out, and then um, it will uh, destroy the uh, uh, seals uh, more quickly. So I go to pump control, single wash, let's say for three minutes, I will do a seal wash. And um, we have to wait, you see, until the baseline is stabilizing, the pressure is stabilizing. At the moment, it seems there is some air bubble because there is a pulsation of the pressure. But when I set up the uh, run, I always run a few blank gradient to uh, get the system in complete equilibrium. So this is how you start up the HPSC. And the next video I will show you how to set up a run, a sequence of analysis, and the method file. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>